Yeah, it looks good. My name is Lisa Browning and I work with families whose favorite children have fur. Now, believe it or not, there is a flattering way to pose dogs. <laughs> The people who come to us to take pet portraits are people who really consider their dogs to be family members. These aren't just um, animals who live in their house. These are loyal companions who bring them unending joy. So when they're out there, we are really creating a moment for them. Oh, we got a good head tilt. We are taking a picture, a photo shoot with the, the star of the day, Mr. Sheldon here. We believe he's a Papillon Italian Greyhound mix. Uh, we rescued him when he was eight months old uh, from Powell Animal Welfare Society, and he is now seven, and he is just the light of our lives. I mean, he's just everything to us, so we wanted to make sure that we have a lot of great memories. We take a lot of pictures on our phone. My phone is 90% Sheldon, but it's important to us to have really high quality professional photos. And once we saw Lisa's portfolio, it was just a no brainer. Oh my gosh, I couldn't even focus the camera when I got a first camera. Um, I never picked up a camera until 2014. I'm an attorney and I was practicing law here in Columbus. I had a baby and uh, decided that I could take his newborn portraits myself. And that was a terrible idea because I had no idea how to even focus a camera. But uh, I started practicing more and more and then um, I discovered I did not like photographing a newborn or a baby, but I started photographing my own dog. And um, it was really great. And then our uh, neighbors started asking me if I wanted to photograph their dogs and uh, it just kind of took over from there. In the very beginning, I taught myself from YouTube, and then I um, decided that I would take courses here in Columbus, and I've studied with um, a fashion photographer, and I've studied with a product photographer, and that's how I learned my lighting techniques, and I've applied them to dogs. One of the things when people call me up and uh, want to have their dog photographed, I definitely find out about their breed, if they're a mixed breed, if they're a purebred breed, because I want to better understand who it is that I'm going to meet and who I'm going to photograph. I would say that the biggest thing for a pet portrait is that you want to capture that dog's personality or that cat's um, essence, really. Dogs have a variety of different expressions and I try and definitely elicit that when I'm working with them. One of the things I'm really looking for is getting their ears perked. Because when their ears are hanging down, it looks like maybe they're a little tense, but when their ears are up, it looks like they're happy and alert. And that's really great for an expression. I feel really lucky that JJ and Phil chose me to photograph Mustang. I had photographed their um, other two dogs who are still with them, Gunner and Toby, a couple years ago. And they thought of me to capture Mustang's spirit since he's a rescue and he has become so very special as an addition to their family. Uh, so Mustang was a rescue that we got um, about a year ago um, from uh, the Madison County Humane Society. He was relinquished to the shelter um, and I didn't realize when he first walked into the clinic that he would actually be walking into my home and my heart. Uh, yeah, he is blind, um, but you wouldn't know it. It doesn't, doesn't slow him down at all. So. Oh my gosh, I don't know that I ever really try to get them to sit still. Um, sometimes they're standing, sometimes they're walking around. I have a lot of squeakers and duck calls and squirrel calls and things I picked up at Cabela's to get their attention. Sometimes they're just standing there and they're looking all over the place and they just look over at me and all I need is just that split second. Lisa just captures the beauty and the essence of our dogs. Honestly, before we did it back in 2016, I was a little bit skeptical as to what the difference would be, but it's amazing how well she catches like the emotions that they show. Ooh. I know when you know, our go. dogs are gone, um, just how we'll look back with you know, just, just fantastic memories of, of these moments. So. And that's one of the things that makes photography so unique is that these images get more valuable with time because we can never get that day back. Oh my gosh, look at that head tilt. I retouch every portrait that is purchased. And um, one of my big things is that I always want the leeches removed in Photoshop so that you don't see those unsightly leeches in a, in a finished portrait that's gonna hang on your wall. I have a knack of getting every single power line that uh, is in existence in a park and I always remove those too. So you get a really beautiful, clean image. Dogs are just such beautiful souls and they just give us so much unconditional love 
And I feel so lucky that I am able to commemorate and celebrate the special bond that people have with their pets. Thank <laughs> you.